Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Before we get into the boss fight for Yom the Giant, I wanted to show you this weapon right here. This weapon is called the Storm Ruler. And if you read it, actually that was not it. There it is. Um, Great Sword with Broken Blade, also known as the Giant Slayer, for the residual strength of Storm that brings giants to their knees. Yom the Giant once held two of these, but gave one to the humans who doubted him, and left the other to a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. The skill is the Storm King. Assume the stance to imbue the sword with Storm, most effective when facing giants. Now, ironically, this is actually found right next to Yom's throne, right here. And in order to use this particular weapon, the weapon art is this. After four seconds, you will see that burst of energy, and then that is how you fire it. So essentially, you're loading the weapon with the essence of a storm, and then you're firing that essence from the blade, and it will fell the giant. Now, this weapon does scale, depending on how your character is built. My character is a strength build, so I'm doing about 6,000 points of damage per hit. And you'll see in the boss fight that it only takes 5 hits to bring this guy down. This is kind of a gimmicky fight. You can bring down Yom with regular weapons and, uh, you know, conventional methods, so to speak. But it is preferable and it's a lot easier on yourself if you use this particular weapon. Now, once again, the weapon art itself... 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 4 seconds to charge, and there's a common misconception. You do not have to fire off the energy stored inside the blade right away. You can run, you can dodge, you can roll around, you can do what you have to do, get your distance, go back into the weapon stance, and fire. I've seen uh, a couple of playthroughs and a couple of streams where You'll see people actually trying to stand against the giant, get their weapon going, and then try to fire it. You can actually just save the charge up, dodge and roll as you need to, and then fire the weapon when you get a clear shot. Now the fog wall will be right about here, and you can actually charge the weapon right outside the fog wall, and then step into the fight and take on Yom. He will always be sitting on the throne. The minute he sees you enter his throne room, he will get up and start slowly lumbering towards you. So let's get into this fight. So the boss fight begins. Pop a little green blossom to help increase my ability to regenerate stamina. There's Yom on his throne. He sees us. He gets up. As you can see, I'm charging my weapon. Four second charge. I don't fire it off right away. You do have to get within a certain range of them, it appears, and it appears to be lock-on range. So whatever the longest point where you can lock on, uh, you can fire. As you see, every time you hit him, he'll drop to his knees. And if you have the Storm Ruler by the time you enter the room, meaning you already failed once, um, you can usually get about three hits. As you can see, three hits... It, uh, after the second hit, went into his second phase, which is just Yom the Giant pissed off and on fire. And dodge and roll most of his hits. As you can see here, I'm not even embered up for this fight. You can ember up if you don't have a lot of hit points, but I do have a lot of hit points on this character. Run away, Estus up, make sure the weapon's charged. And as you can see, I'm just, I'm trying to get that four seconds to charge the weapon, and then boom. Hit him again. So as you can see, charge the weapon and then duck and roll, dodge and weave. Get your distance and then give it a chance to fire. I was a little bit disappointed with this boss fight because Yom was so prominently featured in the trailer for the game and in the opening. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's a lore thing with him. But for him to be so easy, I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. And as you can see here, I put on my, uh, my brand new helm and I'm able to reap a little more additional souls from him. It's kind of a dirty little trick if you want to get some extra souls. After a boss fight, just switch over. There is a little bit of a delay, so you can switch over, put this helmet on, and uh, reap some extra souls before the souls actually go into your soul bank.
Hope you guys enjoyed this boss fight with Yom the Giant. My name's Dead Winter Dead. Thanks for watching. Yeah.